Alright, so what is up guys? In this video I want to go over what sealed classes are and how you can use them in Kotlin. And essentially sealed classes are used when a value can have only one of the types from a limited set. And this is often referred to as restricted hierarchies. So this usually means that when you have a menu and you know that menu has a certain amount of options, whether that be a list of callers or the list of volume states such as low, medium and high volume, you can use the sealed class to list those items and react to them appropriately. But anyways, we're going to jump right into the project by creating a sealed class. And this one's going to be called volume. And we're going to create a block and inside here we are going to create a class called low because we are going to create a speaker which can react to our volume changes. And it's going to extend volume. And then we can just copy and paste this three times because we want medium volume, high volume and low volume, of course. And then that's all we have to do for the sealed class. As you can see, it holds three states of being for our speakers and that's all it has to do at the moment. Then we're going to create a function, which is going to be called function eval, which stands for evaluation. And it's going to take volume of type volume as an argument. And that's going to equal a when statement, which will take volume inside that. And we will create a block right after that. And inside here, it's going to tell us that we need to add the options that we gave in the sealed class, which means if we go to more actions, you'll see it says add remaining branches. And this will list all the possible options that we described in the sealed class. And this is a very great thing. It means that also if we decide to add a new volume such as class super high, which extends volume, this down here will give us an error that tells us either to add an else branch or to add the remaining branches. So it will give us a compilation error immediately and that will save us a lot of time. But anyway, let's remove that over there and let's continue with this block over here. So when the volume is low, we want to print a statement that says volume set to low. And then we will copy and paste this two times. So we'll set this to medium, of course, and this will be set to high. And so far, so good. Now we need to go right above our function and we need to create a global variable, which will be a late init var of volume, which will be of type volume. And then right inside function main, I'm going to add this print line statement. And I don't want to write it because it's a lot to write, but what I did here is add a new line, which has turned the volume level to new line, high, medium, or low. And then right immediately after that, we're going to create a function that says change volume. So this is going to create the question. And in here, we will have a read line statement that will receive the user inputs and it will output the corresponding volume that the user has specified. So to do that, we will create a private function change volume. And of course, we need to get the volume level. So we're going to do value volume level, and that's going to equal read line. Then inside here, we're going to write volume is going to be equal to when volume level, which is not null, contains low. And also we're going to set the ignore case to true. So whether the user decides to write it in camel case or all in capital letters or any way they want, it will always recognize that in the sentence, as long as it contains low, it will pick the low option. And then we're going to add an arrow and create another block. And inside this block, we're just going to type in volume dot low. So it will select this option. And when this option is selected, it will set the volume to low. And then we will copy this one more time and paste it right under. And it does not require that this is non-null, so we can just remove that. And we will set this to medium. And we need to set this to medium as well. Then we can add our else block, which will say else the volume is just going to be set to high because it's none of the previous two. And then below this when expression, we can actually evaluate what we selected. So we can write evaluate volume. And under that, I'm going to copy and paste in another print line statement because it's a lot to write. And what this print line says is to adjust it, you need to type high, medium or low. And that is because once we received the input from the user the first time, maybe the user thinks the music's too loud after a bit and they want to change it down to lower medium. They can still do that whenever they feel like it. So we're going to create a kind of recursion. So we'll just add the function change volume right under and this project will loop forever. So the user can always change the volume. Of course, ideally you would want to add an off switch, 
but who cares? This person has the best speaker in the world and it will play forever. But anyway, when we run the program, you'll see it will ask us for some inputs and let's just do that right now. So it says turn the volume level to high, medium or low. Let's pretend that it's on high at the moment, so we will change it to low. And it will tell us that the volume is set to low. Then it will say to adjust it type high, medium or low. And of course we can continue with some high music and then some low music again, and then some medium music. And it will continue selecting the option we want and giving us the corresponding output as a result. And there's one more thing I want to show you before I finish this video. And that is when you create these classes, you can of course add some constructors. So you can write var message, and that's gonna be of type string. And we can copy and paste that on medium and on high. And of course, to use this, you would have to add it somewhere in the code below. So instead of saying print line volume set to low, we're gonna write volume set to low class. And then we need to add the dollar symbol and some curly brackets and write volume dot message. And it appears that I have written message with three S's. So let's go ahead and fix that. But we can copy this part right here and paste it in the other two because volume.message will always refer to the volume that we have selected, which is great. But that also means we have to fix our when expression. So in here we can write low, in here we will write medium, and in here we will write high. So if we rerun this program, we'll click on stop and rerun. Let's set the volume to low. It will say volume set to low plus low. And if you type in medium, it will say volume set to medium plus medium because we added this statement right here. And yeah, it's really nice to have constructors inside your sealed class. So definitely experiment with them. This may not have been the most intensive video on sealed classes, but it definitely helps you get started with using them. And I hope this video helped. If there's anything else you'd like me to cover, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next Scotland video.